All right, so off camera, I finished putting all the push rods and I painted them black. Um, looks pretty good. And again, considering it's sort of a, you know, it's not a true full-blown built-up engine, it's going to look great inside the cowling. So I am uh, never made one like that. But again, it's better than a little piece of just flat paper. So yeah, it's great. Nothing wrong with that. Now I'm going to work on the front cowling. So this should all be familiar. Put a little glue along that tab. Put it down where it's supposed to go, which is on that front. And there's lines on there, so it's very easy to follow where it's supposed to go. Make sure you put that down. That's going to give you some teeth to allow you to put the next cowl ring on the front. It'll have a place for it to actually go. And then to put that piece together, turn it into a tube, you have this tab, which is very typical. Um, although these, ones are, these are interesting, they have little um, like arrow shapes on the ends of them, but they work they're great. And you just put them on either end. You can just choose one, line up the points, and it's the right thickness. It's Again, this kit so far is extremely well designed. Everything goes together really well once you figure out how to do a couple things. It's a little problem solving, but it's not the kit's fault. Anyway, put that on. And uh, make sure it's nice and strong on there, which is important. And then roll it. That little back, you can use anything that's kind of soft. You can see from my fingertips, I'm pushing pretty hard. And I'm rolling it around a circular thing. But that mat is something my wife got from... Um, really cheap at a Dezo, at a little um, dollar store, like a, a Japanese-themed dollar store in town. And they're made to pin out um, things like quilts <laughs> um, when you're drying them or, or things you've knitted. Um, and they're really expensive if you go to an actual fabric store. But there, they were cheap, so she got a bunch and let me have one. And it's the perfect sort of density to roll things. So then once it's rolled and you've, you, know, you have your inner Polish person so that it's already to the right form. Now putting it together is very easy. Just slide it up, make sure it matches, and it'll basically you know, slide into place with very little pressure. And I get a little extra there that I smear off. I find that that glue, when you put it on a seam, it isn't like filler by any means, but it tends to, for some reason, hide um, I think it tends to hide the seams a little bit. At least it did for some other things I've done. Uh, so that's together. Now um, we've got to put this little guy in there. Now to get a center spot on here, um, I just drew a line around the, the distance, the whole distance, folded in half, and then that by definition is a 50-50 mix there. Don't have to measure anything. Just fold some paper. Don't have to do any complicated mathematics. And there's my center. I'm going to need that just because I want to make sure... Oh, and I make, did a little line there. So I can make sure I know kind of where to situate it in the, in the cowling. Because um, it's going to go along the bottom seam there. And now I have a place to put it. And now I can uh, kind of fold the paper or, or bend the paper a little bit and roll it around. And this fit very expertly. It fit very well. Slid right over. Um... I ended up, I think, going from doing that trick where you go from the inside and push it through. But this is just sort of a test fit to see how it's going to go. Uh, but if you do it this way, you got to be careful because you will bend the paper. Um, so I got smart, lined up my mark, and then put everything against the table, and then push down, make sure it's you make sure that line is going to match up with the seam line, and then just carefully push down while you make sure the paper is pushed down to the front. So then you're going to get something that comes out and it's going to be flush and perfect and all automatically make the shape. And then you just make sure your line is marked up. There you go. Bob's your aunt these days. Okay. Then I put, since that was on there, I didn't want to play around with it anymore or put glue on it. I just put super glue on the back side. And uh, that way it's um, nice and, I mean, it, it, it dries fine and everything. A little bit of zip kicker in there, and she's good to go. And uh, now you've got a nice solid bulkhead piece. So the next part is to put the actual engine bulkhead in. And so um, what you do... Oh, I cut out that square in the back because I'm going to put a little pin in there as a way to put in the prop shaft. The engine fits down in there. And notice I was able to open that up so that I could actually put it forward. 
I lined up those little bumps, which are going to be where cylinders would have been. So in other words, this makes sense where it's going. And on the plans, too, it actually shows there's, there's, it's inlaid a little bit. When I first tried to put it, I tried to put it in at the very edge on the front. And that was a huge mistake because it wasn't fitting, and then I didn't want to force it. And I look back at the plans and realize, dummy, um, you know, it is actually inlaid, see, in the picture. And it makes sense then when you think of, again, where the cylinders are going to go. The cylinders are going to go where those little bob, little, little um, pieces are. And then once it's on where I wanted it, and it's a tight fit in there, then I went from the back side and hit it with super glue and uh, zip kicker. And uh, yeah, I made sure the engine, the front was even and everything. And if it's in a little bit, like when I put on the rest of the cowl rings and it seems like it's in a little bit, um, I can always just extend the shaft a little bit. It'll be just fine. So then I'm putting on my zip kicker from the outside, letting it seep back there. Because it's kind of hard to get the brush in there. There she is. Looks fine to me. And it's straight, true. It's going to look good. Really good. Because again, look at that. When you look down in there, it, it doesn't look quite Holinsky-ish like, but it is close. Now there's a couple of extra pieces that go on there. So that goes on to make a little tube. And that's going to fit right on those teeth. And then that other one that's on the corner there that I didn't show you, yeah, this one, that one's going to go just butt joined onto that second one or onto that first one. So that's what will, uh, you know, that's what, that's what happens next. And so that was very easy to do. I didn't show it because my thing wasn't charged, but it just fit nice. Boy, the seams are beautiful on this. Even the butt join is nice, but that first seam that goes around, it's amazing. Make sure you line up your, your seams. And all the camouflage matches, fantastic. And that worked great. The only thing I would do is I would next time color, color the inside of the cowling like dark gray or something, or even black, probably dark gray. It won't, it doesn't matter, it'll look fine. But it, when you look in there, you can see the white saw teeth and the white of the paper. Now, I have that open on purpose because there's a little hole there. And my wife gave me this little pin with a little blob of plastic on the end. And I can drop that puppy right in there. It's a drop fit, goes right down without any problem at all, and it sticks out. I hope you can see that sticking out. Now, that's because on the back goes a piece of paper that's kind of grayish that was cut out. And uh, I just uh, smear this around so it's even. That piece goes on the back of that bulkhead, and what that'll do is hold that uh, pin in place, actually. Again, that square opening I put in there isn't supposed to be there. I did that for ease of assembly for me. Um, maybe I did things out of sequence, but that worked just fine. So once this is on there and you have the gray, that dark gray piece on the bottom, have that out because this is going to form sort of the leading edge of the wheel well um, when it's time because this is an interesting airplane. And then once that's on there and dry, um, the cool thing is it basically holds on. It, makes, it takes that pin and that pin is in there. So now we're doing uh, a few more things. That piece under my hand there, that's the main part we're going to do. You just pop that on, just like we've always done. I'm speeding this up a little bit because this is kind of old hat for people. But again, same old thing. Put that on, make sure it's dry. And now um, those pieces I didn't show you, but those are, you know, each of these pieces is a cardboard and then a piece of paper that's, that's colored gray. Um, that came from the plants, that came from the actual kit. That's because those, again, are all going to sort of box in this area underneath. They're going to be like this, especially that piece and that piece are going to be part of the, and then that rounded piece is this, okay? So you get an idea of what we're trying to do. So now this thing is ready to go, and again, it's got this, it has a little, little edge um, tab on there. Do the same old thing I always do, roll it out, and put it together. And um, again, firm pressure and use different sizes of those rollers. Like this roller was great to get it started. And then I got to a smaller one. But you can see each time you do it, it gets a little, little skinnier. And then I tried it, tried it, and then I need a little bit more. And then I tried something even skinnier, got it a little bit better. I never got it completely Polish, but it was good enough for me. Um, and then I put a little glue on the edge. And then end up just sandwiching that together and clamping it down a little bit with some tweezers. And there it goes. And again, the fit is exemplary in the kit. 
that everything lines up and just make sure it lines up if you if you make sure it lines up everything's going to fit if you have your off a little bit you're going to run into trouble later so just make sure and i tend to sort of take the round piece and roll it over the seam just to help spread the glue and make sure it's pressure and contact now this piece now is going to end up going um, right there i'm just sort of test fitting it that's going to go face towards the uh, um, the front there you're not going to see it at all uh, but that's going to go right there and the line there is important because that's going to help line it up onto the skin and i'll show you that in a in a second here so adding a little glue in this case just to sort of half of it kind of on the top and that line is going to help me um, line it up onto the skin or help the skin line up onto it it's very important because you get a twist in this thing now everything's going to be twisted so i'm pointing out there's a little line there a little tick mark very hard to see and i long that i align that nice long um, mark right on there and make sure it's, it's but it's gonna be a butt join ultimately so it, right up to the edge of the paper and then i make sure that i roll that all the way around and i'm making sure i'm just doing half at a time which makes sense and I'm just making sure at this point, I'm checking it to make sure it's actually got a nice, it's right to the edge, which is important. Once that's kind of dry, and there's that line, and it's lining up right with that pip. Exactly. And what you end up with is a little bit of overhang on either end, um, which makes sense for based on the next piece we'll put in. So once that side's in, put a little glue on the other side, and just bring it down. This part's super easy, because you did it right, and you um, did everything you needed on the other side. So that just comes on down, you pull it a little bit, and then put it on, push the pressure on there. And again, you're butting it up against that back bulkhead because you want just a flat surface um, because that's going to go up against the engine bulkhead. And so it's just going to be, like I said, a butt joint. So make sure that's on there, and um, there you go. Now, um, that other horizontal flat piece, I'm putting glue there, and I'm putting glue um, on the inside edges. Because it turns out that's exactly where that's going to fit. I've test fit this several times before I did anything. Um, that's always, of course, a good thing to do. And um, basically, I'm just just uh, putting the glue in there. And then uh, make sure you get this the right orientation. There's an edge where there's going to be a, a little shelf that goes in there. So that shelf part goes in the back. And you'll, you'd see that. Um, uh, because that's where the other little strange piece that's down there on the, the cutting board is going to go so this slides in and it's actually underneath the two side pieces on the skins it's it actually fits so it's it's again edged right up against the paper so it doesn't you know it's not on top of the paper the paper just comes down to the edge of it and then that goes on the edge of that because again it has to be level because you're going to butt join this if it's not you're going to sand some stuff off so that's on there I put that piece right there in, went, went really well, just kind of stuck it in, glued it, I glued it from the back with some super glue. Um, but that piece is in there and that gives it a really cool shape. The other part's gonna be for the cockpit, so don't worry about that yet. That piece fits right in there. And you can see there's gray underneath there. Oh, and the edging, I painted a little dark gray just because it's made so that when these come together and mate, there is a tiny, tiny, like, I don't know, 70 seconds of an inch gap around, uh, overlap from the front to the back. And it's supposed to be there. but um, And it actually has coloration on the paper um, from the kit. But to me, it was a little bit light and it stood out, so I just made it a little darker. I'm just sort of getting this together and making sure it's going to fit. And if it's straight along that line, and you can see that rectangular box structure, that's where the landing gear fits. And so that's why it's all gray in there. So these I found when I butt joined, it's a good idea to use super glue, but you got to make, if you do this, you got to make dang sure you do it right the first time. Um, if you're worried, use the white glue and just hold it together for a good long while. I just find it tends to then fall back a little bit. I put my finger in the back so I got something to push against, and then I line this sucker up along that line because I've already test fitted it. And I know that if I put it up there exactly on that shelf, then it's going to be even all the way around on the top. Huh, look at that. Super glue isn't that super. Um, I know that it's going to be perfect around all the edge. That happened probably because it probably isn't perfectly flat. I got the glue in the center, 
don't have it basically on the edges too much. And so I'm actually needing to sort of push these together. So my right, right, right hand is trying to hold the bulkhead in there so I don't crush anything. And my left hand I'm, I'm throwing down there, pushing in. There's that edge I'm talking about. There's a little tiny skinny edge around there. It's supposed to be there. It looks great. Doesn't look doesn't look like a seam. Looks like a part of the cowling. It's fine. So I'm pushing forward and I'm holding the other piece, making sure it's all nice and solid. And it is. And the uh, thing dries and there's the front end already started. Looks great. The, the uh, seams are smooth. Can't wait for the cockpit.